the papyrus. Put it on my table every month. I don't want to miss it. Don't even try to hide it. No, I don't want to lose it. Can you see how it is? It's so important. The papyrus, we're all so alive. The papyrus. My name is Sarah Abdul. I am the founder and executive director of Shamis Unusual Hearts Foundation. I am the CEO of Shamis Strategic World and Shamis Unusual Concepts. Shamis Foundation is a foundation that is centered around prison, uh, prison reform, prison care, prison bail, uh, rehabilitation and reintegration of ex-convicts back into the society. I share this story every time I'm being asked and I'll share it again with you. Uh, when I was growing up, I had a, a very nasty experience. I think I was 10 or 11, I can't remember. My older brother was accused of stealing a camera. His uh, friend in the neighborhood, uh, a rich kid, mm -hmm. you know, accused him of stealing the camera and the police came to our house, you know, picked him up. He was just 14 and they beat him up mercilessly. Mm -hmm. And he was locked up at the local police station for days. And um, my mom kept asking him, did you take it? Did you, if you, if you took it, you know, just tell us, we can go find it from wherever you took. And he kept insisting that he didn't take it. He didn't take it. Uh, fortunately for us, the camera was found in his friend's house in a different room under the sister's bed. Apparently the brother has played with it and thrown it, you know. And that was how my brother was vindicated. And we were just left with a very lousy story, you know. So I grew up with um, the mindset that uh, not everybody who is locked up behind bars is a criminal. And then growing up again, as I was getting more matured and getting more information, mm -hmm. I started to understand other things again, other aspects of prison that captured my interest so um that is really why i decided to do shamans i have actually been doing this for a very long time before i officially registered my ngo it's my passion numbers really don't matter to me so long as i get an inmate you know reunited with their family and become a responsible member of the society and also you know encourage and advise people to desist from doing evil I'm satisfied when I started visiting prison mm -hmm. I saw a lot of things one being the congestion in our prison facilities well sorry they call it the correction of facilities mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. it is it is crazy where you find um, a prison that is built for 800 people with over 3,000 inmates in there. Again, you find petty, petty, petty criminals, you know, and these people are serving years and years and years and years for very petty crimes. I don't think it's fair, and that's because our justice system is broken. And then lastly, over 70% of the inmates in Nigerian prisons are awaiting trial. And that's bad. Very, very bad. You're already serving for a crime you're not even sure, you're not even convicted mm -hmm. for. So yeah, so those aspects, you know, picked up my interest. And the condition at which they live in is also very pitiful. It's nothing to write home about. You know, so those are some of the aspects that, you know, I came to you know realize and I adopted as part of my my um, goals, part of my jobs, and part mm -hmm. of the things that I need to mm -hmm. try my best to, to correct. Do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, the terrain is not a fanciful one. People often wonder when they get to know I'm doing correctional. Mm -hmm. Uh, facilities or prison they often will say why prison 
but like me, my answer, you know, to your second question, they connect immediately, they hear, mm -hmm. you know, my story. Uh, so far, Nigerians are very much disposed to the idea of working hard to transform lives, whether as convicts or um, um, ex-convicts. Mm -hmm. uh, we do get support, we do get moral support, we do get um, technical support, we also do get financial support, you know, um, sometimes. Uh, last year we had our first lecture series on crime prevention and prison welfare, mm -hmm. where we invited some institutions like the Nigerian Correctional Service, the Nigerian Police Service, the Ministry of Justice, Interior, Amnesty International, you know, Human Rights Commission, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, that's uh, the NCDC. Mm -hmm. NSCDC, I mean, sorry, the Nigerian Medical Association, ETC for the lectures, and they all came. So on a whole, I would say Nigerians are responding. The laws covering operations, access partnership, and bail-in are very clear. The Correctional Service uh, Reform Bill signed into law by our dear President Mohammed Buhari, you know, took into consideration many areas of complaints in the past. So if you follow the guidelines and procedure, you know, you've got no problems. Mm -hmm. So I'll say our inability to access much, you know, finance to prosecute our other programs mm -hmm. usually is our challenge, not the system, not technical manpower. Mm -hmm. Growing up for me was uh, fun. Um, I didn't. I, I don't come from a very rich. Uh, in fact, I come from a very, very, very humble background. But I mean, as kids, all of those things don't really matter to you. Growing up was fun. I had. I had a very good family. I have fantastic parents. Mm -hmm. I have uh, very supporting siblings, and so yeah. So growing up was, was was good. Okay. Uh, I remember when I was a pro, when I was admitted into JSS one. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know the whole ball game was different they tell you you are now going into a higher institution mm -hmm. and that's how we saw it really mm -hmm. and um, everybody was like all the all the things that you do in primary school you cannot be doing in a secondary school you have to stay focused you mm -hmm. have to stay this mm -hmm. and pam 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 first time just one I came first mm -hmm. second time I came first mm -hmm. third time I came first mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was amazing. Like, I felt, I can never forget, my dad bought me a goat all to myself. And it was, you know, it felt like buying you a car mm -hmm. then growing up. So it was one of the most um, um, interesting or the most beautiful memories of my childhood that I have. You know, my, my excellence in academics then. And it really helped me, it really helped to shape me and make me, you know, the person that I am today. Role model, well, that depends on what side of me, you know, I should talk about. Whether as a parent, a business person, or in my humanitarian works. Mm -hmm. uh, Mother Teresa is one person I should readily point out due to selflessness, sacrifice, and simplicity. You know, she is um, humble and she has a very, very large heart and she is all for humanity. Mm -hmm. And so she is my role model if, you know, we are talking about the humanitarian aspect of me right now. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I am the best me God created. Mm -hmm. Given any opportunity for recreation, you, you know, um, I will still be me. I have come to appreciate life, my very own life, the way I see it. The tears, the laughter, the troubles, the success, the failures especially. And what, you know, I have combined to make this life you know, beautiful and I won't ever question God for it. Uh, my philosophy in life will be living for the sake of others. My most memorable day in life is actually the day I had my first son. The day I became a mother, it's a day I will never forget in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You know, so it is. It is um, at the back of my mind. It plays every day in my head. I still remember how everything happened, and it was beautiful. Um, I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I watch movies mm -hmm. a 
a educational lot. One. Educational right. one. Right. Yes. <laughs> I was in this a lot. Mm. And um, I, I also love to, you know, connect with people. Mm. Michelle Obama is a woman I respect a lot. Mm. Why? How she juggles life, mm. being a wife, being a mother, being, um, you know, with her career, mm -hmm. as well as reaching out to people mm -hmm. at every little time, every little opportunity that she gets. Um, I, I respect her a lot and I learn a lot from her every time, every opportunity that I get. Okay, did you read her becoming? Oh, yes, I did. I did. And I what did. did you pick from the book? She is a very strong woman, Michelle, mm -hmm. and in my opinion, mm -hmm. I would think Michelle made Obama. I'm not saying made him, made him, you know. I just feel like maybe if there was no Michelle, mm -hmm. there wouldn't have been a Barack, you know. And um, I have also learned that uh, hard work and healthy living mm -hmm. from her is, is a combination that anybody should, you know, put into their day-to-day -day life activities. inspiring, empowering, you know, and rising more young to their zenith of faith. I would like to pay more bills for widows, mm -hmm. bail more inmates, rehabilitate more ex-convicts, and play strategic role in policies formulation that shapes the society. Sarah is not just a humanitarian, I am a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I run Shami's Unusual um, Concept. I also run Shami Strategic World and I intend to float a brand that will blow the minds of people and um, basically uh, Shami Strategic World is covering every large part of agriculture mm -hmm. and real estate mm -hmm. you know and then um, Shami's uh, unusual concept is like an online an online mall an online store mm -hmm. where I have um, both my products that I resell, not products that I make, products I, you know, resell. Mm -hmm. And then I have other entrepreneurs and um, other merchants mm -hmm. come to sample their products on my online store. I have received a lot of awards. Um, I really don't keep count mm -hmm. of the physical, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, um, Award itself. Mm -hmm. um, awards are given in recognition of one's uh, strides in his or her coaching, you know, and was Placing numbers or rating, which is more important, is really inconsequential to me. Mm -hmm. But for me, the most touching award I have received or still receiving is the feedback I get from poor widows who are able to celebrate, you know, Salah or Christmas with others, mm -hmm. you know, with the help of my foundation. The thank you call from single mothers who are able to cater for their words. Mm -hmm. The hopes often being ignited in the faces and lives of freed inmates mm -hmm. and the uh, you know, productivity and transformation of ex-convicts whose stories are inspiring mm -hmm. others to live responsibly. That is my greatest award. And the harder I work, the more they come to the glory of God. There are people that, um, you know, I would need to appreciate. Um, no, no man is an island. No man can make it alone. There are people that in your life that would have, you know, pushed you, helped you in one way or the other to get to where you are. But then um, those people are there are lots, and there are not people that I can start mentioning names right now. But I want to appreciate everybody who has supported me in one way or the other by you know encouraging me mm -hmm. even down to you know social media mm -hmm. likes and comments mm -hmm. and reposts and what have you they all mean a lot to me mm -hmm. people who are cheering people who are complimenting people who are criticizing. you know even yeah even the criti <laughs> even, even even those who are criticizing you mm -hmm. know they help you become a better person mm -hmm. because you get to adjust in the areas mm -hmm. that you think you're not doing right so i want to appreciate every last person that has done one positive you know, thing to 
make me who I am today. What I do, the thinking and the planning, the um, aspects uh, challenges my intellect. Mm -hmm. Where I have to engage my team, research on subjects, laws, modalities, you know, pitches and all that, it gives me a sense of satisfaction even before exec execution of the project and that is where I get my positive energy from. I love every moment of being a mother. I absolutely love every moment of being a mother. Of course, I know there are some times that, you know, you just go, ah, this mm. kids, this kids. But for me, motherhood has helped to shape my life and made me the woman that I am today. It has given me a sense of responsibility that nothing else in this life would have given to me. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, the best way I can appreciate being a mother, you know, a mother is to actually love everything about it. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> it's all a good package. It mm -hmm. comes as a package and I love it. No, um, I believe anything that happened to me is part of the making of a great destiny. So um, I have no regrets whatsoever. Um, I, I leave, I make mistakes, and I learn from them. They should discover what they should die for mm -hmm. and be committed to their life goals. Determination is key. Do not let anybody tell you you cannot. Do not let anybody deter you from what gives you joy and your passion, you know, um, consistency also is key in life. And I also want to appreciate everyone um, out there, everybody who has supported me, who has prayed for me, who has helped me, who has done one or two things. I, I want to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you from wherever you are. And I pray that God will meet you at the point of every of your needs. The papyrus, put it on my table every month. I don't.